Boom, hey internet. This question is big, the answer is big. What program do I use to design clothing? Now, I've answered this question before, but this is an update for right now at this moment, some alternatives that you could use to Adobe, which is the answer that I've said before. If you're new to my channel, my name is John Phenom. I am the clothing brand mentor. I've been working professionally in fashion since 2000. Yes, that's a long time from senior designer to creative director, creative director, and then basically president where I ran an entire multi-million dollar brand as the brand director and then within the last like 23 years of doing this. And I've been on the internet for over 10 years helping you guys with best practice. So think about subbing, or that's a thumbs up. <laughs> think about subbing or liking, how about that liking and uh, what I meant to point to the subscribe button or think about subscribing tons of free game for you guys for launching your brand all right let's get into it so in the past and still I mean I use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop this is my studio my computer is here literally Adobe Illustrator is open at this moment as I'm working on files in between shooting this video for you guys so Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator traditionally is how we render files for apparel okay not only the design okay so specifically and technically I'm talking about the artwork okay so I'm designing this shirt okay the printed item that's on the front chest of this shirt is the artwork okay but also if I want to zoom out and organize the line or the drop I'm gonna have like a vector image of a t-shirt in a couple different colorways and then maybe I change the artwork in different colorways because I am trying to figure out the final product that I'm trying to put out all of that is done with a combination of Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop traditionally now as we're shooting this as this is coming out technology is coming in like crazy and changing fashion and so I did a recent update to my pre-launch line so if you have access to my free pre-launch course or if you don't I would click one of the links below that has it check out my update where I talk about this but solopreneurship is more than possible right now if you're thinking of dropping a line and this kind of goes with that this is actually covered in one of the modules of the course but the reason I start with all of that is to say that it's very possible for you to do it alone and so the traditional way of using Adobe Illustrator there are other pathways to kind of get in there and show proof of concept that your brand has esteem and traction and people want to follow it and purchase your brand so the very obvious that I said Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop the downside to it and maybe why you click on this video it's expensive at the moment that I'm showing this it's a monthly charge that is not small and that's how they make their money that's how they've made their money for a long time the thing is a lot of other apps and SaaS companies are coming in very quickly and covering a lot of ground so one of the big questions that I get and a question that I did get in consulting recently is can I get by with procreate and the answer is yes you can the end format of a lot of artwork can be submitted as a PDF all you need is a high quality PDF which would make procreate possible for you to completely launch a line at least in the very beginning with procreate there's other alternatives that do the same thing and give you the same result as Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop so for Photoshop I would have you take a look at affinity and GIMP there's also Photopia I would put in as a third but I would check out those first two before I check out Photopia Photopia is 100% free but that could help you get the job done as well depending on how deep and technical you're going to get into with Photoshop you know Canva might just be a perfect use for what you need to do like you could just go to remove background if you google that there's a couple different sites that'll just remove the background of an image for you you don't need any kind of program for that or if you have the version of canva that allows you to do it they can remove the background there um i'll have a link below to the pro version of canva i have been a fan of canva for years it's one of the essential tools that i use to run the brand and some of my art rendering i'll do directly on canva so there goes another one canva is a catch-all not just for photoshop as I'm talking about Photoshop. But for Photoshop, Affinity and GIMP. For Illustrator, I would have you take a look at Vector and Inkscape, okay? Vector and Inkscape. The other one I'd look at is Corel. So Corel Draw is like a competitor company to Adobe for decades now, but check out all three of those and see if you need a vector program like to do CADs and illustrations. And you've seen me talk about videos where we say for cut and sew, if you don't wanna do just printable shirts and embroidery like shirts and hats, a little bit more simple mass production. If you wanted to do cut and sew custom product for mass production, we prepare all of that using 
tech packs with a vector program. Okay, so Adobe Illustrator is what I have open on my computer. That's what I use to make specifications and tech packs, which are the blueprints of a garment. So if I'm making a jacket per se, one page will have a colorway call out of everything we're using and the materials and the fabrications that we're using. Another page might just be calling out pockets. I might have the actual size of a pocket on that vector. So uh, just to give you an idea of how and when we use the two programs to create a clothing line. Now, let me enter a third thing to make this video even more chock full of game for you guys as you're launching your brand is uh, consider hiring. Just consider outsourcing the designer part of it. Now, I literally do that myself. I have uh, two designers at the moment that are on deck for me as I do my non-beta designs. So, not that I couldn't do it, obviously. If you guys are familiar with my resume, I've spent like years behind the computer on both of those programs. Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, especially as a young designer when I was just getting paid as an apparel designer, literally like seven hours of my day is, is behind Adobe Illustrator, putting tech packs together, creating specifications, making corrections for production and all that sort of thing. But because I know that language very well, I'm able to prep the files much better and give better art direction to my outsourced graphic designers and they're amazing. And so they are abroad, but their talent is amazing. So one more thing that I would just note is there's so many sites where you could find freelancers including freelancer.com, Fiverr, I like onlinejobs.ph, there's Upwork, of course, and so the whole slew, the whole usual suspects of where you could get online help for outsourcing anything from VA jobs to design. And so having them kind of worry about prepping and creating the artwork and getting it to a final format, something I would also have you consider. But for you making it and you doing it, you making it happen, that's a full list of programs that I'd have you take a look at. Hope that helps. Any other questions, please drop them all down below. Consider subscribing and all my solutions on CBA, clothingbrandacademy.com. See you guys on the next one, bye.